Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Fisher Price presents Discover a World of Sounds. Thank you, thank you. We've got a wonderful show lined up for you. A sing-along, some exciting hints on how to get the most fun out of your tape recorder, a sound effect story, and a special guest appearance from a man who can imitate an entire symphony orchestra. But now, please join me in welcoming Christina and Jonathan, two members of our studio audience who are going to explain how to operate your Fisher-Price tape recorder. First of all, to play a tape, press the play button until it locks in place. The play button is the one with the musical note on it. But you must have figured that out already, or you wouldn't be listening to me now. To make your own recording, press the record button. That's the one with the four red lines on it until it locks in place. To skip ahead past something you don't want to hear, hold down the forward button. That's the button with the arrow pointing to the left. Until you reach the point you do want to hear. To go back to a spot earlier on the tape, press the rewind button, the button with the arrow pointing to the right. Hold it down until the tape reaches the right spot and then let go. To stop the tape, press the stop eject button halfway down. To eject the tape, press the stop eject button all the way down. No, don't do it now. The announcer's about to introduce a very special guest. Thank you, Jonathan and Christina. You know, there are lots of ways you can use your new Fisher-Price tape recorder. When he was a child, my next guest used a tape recorder to learn to imitate all kinds of sounds. And he did them using just his mouth. He would practice by first recording his sounds and then playing them back to see if they sounded right. So now, without any further ado, let me introduce the man of a million noises, the Sound Man! Hello there, I'm the Sound Man, and I like to make all sorts of sounds with just my mouth. For example... <laughs> you know, my favorite sounds are those of musical instruments. If you want to imitate a musical instrument, you first have to listen very carefully to the instrument itself and figure out what makes the sound of that instrument so special. The trumpet has a high, brassy sound. I'll imitate it for you. The trombone sounds a lot like the trumpet, only lower. Now the violin is very delicate and really high. while the bass is low. And the saxophone has a soft sound. Well now, let me try something. I'm going to put all my mouth sounds together to form an entire orchestra. First, let me tune myself up. And now the sound man has recorded the sounds of 24 different instruments that he has imitated all by himself on 24 Fisher-Price tape recorders. Ladies and gentlemen, we proudly present the sound man playing chopsticks. <laughs> to present three very special ideas for using your Fisher-Price tape recorder in ways you just might not have thought of yourself. 
Idea number one. Why not record a letter on a blank cassette and send it along to a friend or relative? Here, for example, is part of a recorded Granny Gram Christina sent to her grandmother just last week. Dear Grandma, today's my birthday and lots of my friends are here to help me celebrate. Idea number two. Do you play a musical instrument? Take music lessons of any kind? You do? Then how about recording your greatest performances? Here, as an example, is a recording of me playing the violin. Idea number three. How about recording the sounds of nature? You can take your Fisher Price tape recorder with you when you go hiking or the next time you go to the zoo. Here's a recording Christina and Jonathan made of a rattlesnake, an elephant, a lion, and a chimpanzee. Hey, Jonathan, listen. The rattlesnake is shaking its rattle. I'm not sure I want to ride that elephant. Boy, that lion sure sounds hungry. Hey, Christina, I think the chimps are trying to talk to Dad. You know, when you hear the sounds of things happening in a movie or on the radio or television, in many cases, those sounds aren't really what you think they are. Now, with Jonathan and Christina's help, I'd like to show you how to make your own stories come to life using materials you have right at home, like crinkling cellophane to imitate a forest fire. How's that? Or rapping on a table to imitate the noise of footsteps and someone knocking at the door. Slapping your hands against your legs to make the sound of a horse. Blowing into the microphone to imitate the sound of a great wind. Now, let's put them all together and make our story. Once upon a time, in days of old, a fruit peddler was selling her wares by the side of the road when a horseman galloped up beside her cart. He pulled his horse to a stop and cried, Whoa, there! The horseman spoke to the woman excitedly. You must hurry away with me, he said. A great forest fire is approaching, driven on by a strong wind. If you listen closely, you can hear the fire and the wind, even as I speak. Oh no, I cannot leave my fruit. That fire will fry the bananas. All of a sudden, the wind died down, but the fire continued to approach the horseman and the stubborn fruit peddler. Fruit peddler, please walk over to my horse, and I'll help you up and we can escape from the fire. There's not a moment to lose. I'm not walking anywhere. But if you'll stop drumming your fingers and blowing into the microphone, I'd like to talk to you about buying that lovely piece of cellophane you're crinkling. It'd be perfect for wrapping up the kumquat. Wait a minute. That's not what you're meant to say. It is too. Besides, I like it, and that's what they told me. I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, but I like it. No, now, so now, now, now. Let's go on to the next subject. Now, here to lead you in a sing-along version of that old favorite, on top of Old Smokey, is that master of melody, Otto Harp. <laughs> I am known as the master of melody, but unfortunately, I have accidentally left the words to on top of old Smokey at my home. 
I'm really terribly sorry. Well, can't you remember them? Uh, oh, well, I, I think so. Let's give it a try and see what happens. And everybody can join in. Yes, that means all of you listening at home, too, okay? Orchestra leader, strike up the band. On top of Old Smokey. On top of Old Smokey. All covered with grass and stuff. All covered with grass and stuff. I lost my pet rhino. I lost my pet rhino. Cause I didn't run fast enough. Cause I didn't run fast enough. I went to a rhino expert. I went to a rhino expert. To find out how to get my rhino home. To find out how to get my rhino home. He said, take my advice, son. He said, take my advice, son. And no more will your rhino robe. And no more will your rhino robe. He said, here's what he you said, do, son. Here's what you do. Get some apple juice and hold out a cup to him. Get some apple juice and hold out a cup to him. When he smells it, he'll slow down. When he smells it, he'll slow down. And you can catch up to him. And you can catch up to him. I did what he told I me. I did what he told me. And I caught up, but then. And I caught up. The rhino drank my juice and ate my cup. The rhino drank my juice and ate my cup. And ran away again. And ran away again. Oh, 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 that was just beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> wow. I thought he was going to forget the words, and boy, wouldn't that have been embarrassing. We at Discover a World of Sounds care about you and how you have fun with your Fisher-Price tape recorder. That's why we want to suggest some additional ways to enjoy your recorder, like... Interview your friends and parents, or make a new friend. Provide sports coverage of games and sports events at school or even at home. To make your own funny commercials. To provide background music for plays and puppet shows. To produce your own radio shows. And most important of all, to practice your foghorn imitation. Here is mine. Whoa! Whoa! Oh! To share useful thoughts like this with you gives us great pleasure. Thank you. This tape will end soon, and when it does, your Fisher-Price tape recorder will automatically stop. You can either press the rewind button and then play this side over again, or you can eject the tape, turn it over, and make your own recording by pressing the record button. Five, four, three, two, one. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.